Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dunk. So, uh, Zach and I didn't get a chance to record an episode um, for today, uh, but I thought I would take the time to make a video about how to use the prospector's pick. Um, so I just created this uh, creative world, flew around till I found some ore here. Uh, hopefully this will be a good way to demonstrate it. Um, and I'll, I don't know, maybe force myself to edit this video and throw up some graphics to help explain this. But uh, the main thing that you're looking for when you're using the prospector's pick is for a change of the sample size. So you can see when I right-click on this block, it says small. On this one, it says medium. And that's super, super important because the way that the prospector's pick works is that when you click on this block, this block becomes the center of a 25 by 25 by 25 cube. So it's going to scan 12 blocks up, up into the air, 12 blocks down, 12 blocks left, 12 right, 12 backwards, and 12 forward. All right, so, you know, 12 plus 1 plus 12, 25, so it's a 25 by 25 by 25 cube. All right, so um, 25 cube, that's a lot of blocks, uh, and it's going to count how many ores it sees in that area, and it's going to give you a sample size based on how many blocks of ore it finds. So we click on this block and it says small. When we click on this block, it says medium. And that means that this block is able to see more ore than this block was. Um, and if you think about that, like spatially, there uh, are only a few um, blocks that this block is able to see in its scan that this block can't. All right, I mean, this block can also see some blocks. This one can't, but we don't count those because we're pretty sure those don't have ore in them. But this block can see um, a, a single slice of rock, a 25 by 25 by one, like plane, um, that this block can see. That must, that plane must have ore in it uh, that this block can't see. Um, and that's good, and that plane is gonna be 12 blocks this way. Uh, so what we're going to do is, well, it's creative, but uh, we'll, small, it's medium, uh, we'll look at our, we're going to put F3 or use the mini-map. Uh, we can see that our Z coordinate is changing, so currently it's 12, 5, 5, 6. So if we go until that says 12, 5, 6, 8, we'll have gone 12 blocks over. So that is what we'll do. Okay, so one more. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let's grab some torches so we can make sure that this will show up well in the video. So now that we're here, you see now it says large sample. Um, and it's very large below us. This block says very large. That one says large. Okay, so this time um, we should be in that slice. Like, where we are now should be in the slice that we are looking at before, and we've got a very clear sign that it is below us. So, um, you could kind of, I mean, you might visualize this as being that uh, there's a new, like, 25 by 25 by 1 slice horizontally um, below us, or you could just think of this as being, like, the intersection of the two slices, in which case it'd be uh, 25 by 1 by 1. 12 blocks below us. So uh, with that in mind, uh, currently our y value is 167. So if we go down to 155, in fact, uh, that's already the ore here, um, but this is probably, <laughs> just notice that, this is probably uh, like the top end of it. So I think if we go down, we'll, we'll find the main body of it. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I say that and we'll see. Very large sample, nothing. Very large, very large. We're kind of, we're probably just like in the middle of it now. Um, we definitely did see some up here. That says large, yeah. 
So th this is going to be, um, so each, each type of ore will generate in a different way. This one seems to be a very loose generation, not like a nice tight little ball that you'd want to see it as. So let's just dig out a little bit. See if we can't find it. Uh, if you get to this position and you don't see it, uh, my recommendation would then be just start digging uh, tunnels. So like, let's say we just start digging in this direction. We do samples. Okay, so that says large. That says large. That says large. That says very large. Um, and so we've actually only done like two samples before. Like we, we established it. Um, on the z-axis that we did on the y-axis. Now we, we should do it on our x-axis. So we see that difference right here, large to very large. We see that our x-coordinate here is like 537. Uh, well, let's go to this one, 538. So we want that to go up to 550. So it should be somewhere in this general area. Um, and I want to, I want to stress that like this system does not guarantee tell you where the ore is it, but it's a really good way. Oh, there's some there. There's some there. It's a really good way of getting a really good idea of like, uh, well, it'll get you really close. Um, we did have to break a few blocks, but we did find some here. Uh, more often than not, this system will work. Um, if I use like coal or something, it probably would have been better because coal generates in giant clumps. Whereas phalarite is a little, not, not as kind in the way that it generates. Um, even though it's giving us very, yeah, so there's some more, there's some more. There may actually not be a ton of this ore here. Uh, very large sample could actually be like, you know, less than a percentage, less than 1% of the block scanned coming back as ore. Oh, we just got a gem. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, hopefully you guys saw some, some, at least helpful graphics as I explain this. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more episodes of Terraformer Craft Plus. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll see all y'all next time.